from the No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alon Paul, and we're going to be doing a special edition video here. Um, as you know, the last multi-tool we had specialized in, um, that special multi-tool that I have in here, it looks as such, uh, no longer exists. And it only exists in your own inventory if you happen to have it. Uh, recently, we have come across somebody uh, who has found a multi-tool that might fit the bill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit that button here. And we're going to switch over. I'm going to give you a little bit of a preview of what it looks like. So here it is. As you can see, you have the icons at the top. That is the planetary reference through the portal that you can find it at. And then just underneath that is the coordinates on said planet. The main credit for finding this goes to, and I hope I pronounce this right, Hua Wang. But I give special thanks to Hero to you, because I found this through one of his videos. And he highlighted it in one of his videos recently. But I wanted to do my own spin on it, my own test on it, so to give you folks a rundown of what I think of it. Now, by all means, check out his video as well and see what you think of it. Um, and then you can feel free to come back to mine. So let's come back to the game here, and we're going to go ahead and jump through a portal. And this is one of my original bases, in case you're wondering. I call it an alpha base, as I usually call most of my bases, as they are alpha bases when I first start. Before I start making main home bases. But since this base abs absolutely... Uh, resides in the Euclid Galaxy, I figured I'd go ahead and just use it. Since I happen to know exactly where my portal is. Yep, you might have guessed it, right where that little purple icon is. This is not... Let's try that again. This is not going to be a very long video. We are just going to load it up with a scatter blaster of the most powerful upgrades I can believe I believe I've got. There might be one more powerful than that, but I haven't discovered it yet. Let's see if I have to charge this sucker up. No! I have the charge from last time, that's a good thing. Let's activate. So we're gonna go through that sequence. So as it was, it was the base. Sunset or sunrise, as the case may be. The moon. Looks like we had the black hole. We're going to go with what I call the Triforce. Trivial Pursuit. Yep, that's what I call it. The boat. The Trivial Pursuit. And now I want to play board games for some reason. Uh, hands in the Air. YMCA. A couple different names for that. Give it twice. Sunrise or sunset, as the case may be. And then finally a TP. That is kind of loud, sorry about that. It's even loud in my own headset. It'll be over in a moment, I promise. I think it's time to lower the game audio a little bit, right? I'm not going to do that in OBS. I'm, not gonna, I'm actually going to lower it in-game so it can stay that way permanently. Eventually we'll get there. Hey, here we are. Hey, discovered by LP, huh? Alright, let's get over here and drop that audio down just a little bit. We're going to bring it down to about 80%. So we won't make anybody deaf. Especially with that scatter blaster. We know we're going to have fun with that. Okay. Um, so, let's see. We've got a nice rainbow here. Hmm. Yeah. Head north for Epic Multi-Tool. Well, um, thank you. So, which way are we facing? Wait a second, look at the icon. That way. So, that way for the multi-tool. Hmm, okay. Let's see what we got. Um, uh, yeah. Thank you very much for that communication beacon telling us where to go, right? Now, I am going to switch over to this display. Uh, north. 
Yeah, I agree. That seems to be the way to go. Uh, let's jump out here. See if we can get a little quicker run to that location. So we're going positive 8759, negative 5204. Let's head there. Interesting. That doesn't appear to be it. 8759, That's counting down. Let's go the other way. Hold on. Well, what do you know? Right about here. Looks like we got a base right there. I'm gonna guess it's that little lovely place right there. Now again, I haven't been here yet. Let's take a look. 8759, 5204, 05, close enough, I think. This must be the place. Let's take a look and see if it's in here. Looks like it is. So, before I do anything... Wrong button. Before I do anything, I'm going to go to the bleh. That way I have a different multi-tool in my inventory. Okay, not bad. Two right here. My understanding is you have two more right below once you get this, and it is already an S-Class. So, it's kind of a pretty looking uh, little thing. Let's see what we can do with it to the one I already have. You can see it had four supercharged slots, but they're so scattered it really didn't make a difference. So, yeah, it didn't cost as much. It cost more, but that's no big deal. It's not a big deal. We're going to go ahead and grab that. First thing I'm going to do is take a look at it. All right, so we need to upgrade this sucker, right? Let's head up to the space station. Now, let me think. If I go to the space station here, I can definitely upgrade it. Don't forget to keep your multiplayer turned off before you go through. I should have mentioned at the beginning of the video, it will be in the comments uh, description section. Pardon me, the description section of this uh, video. Ah, 12 seconds to get there, not a big deal. I should pull in my freighter just in case I need, but I don't think I need any hardware off of it. I've got everything on my person. Like my little uh, Nala on the dashboard there. Oh, nice. Right in the middle of an asteroid field. And we're on the back side of the space station. I wish these space stations had rear exits. It makes things a little bit easier. Oh yeah, that's great. Nice job, right? I swear I can fly this thing. I have a license. I swear to you. Alright. So we're going to upgrade it just enough so we can get the slots open. And if I really like, like it, I'll upgrade the rest. And we're going to check out what happens when we add things to the slots. Now, I'm not going to test it out. I may test it out in a different video, but we'll see what happens here. All right. All right. What do we got? We're going to install a slot. So we'll have to get these. Okay. Let's see what happens. Sure enough, right there. I might like this one. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it to the max. Yeah, I have that many upgrade slots. Don't ask how I got them. Okay. So we're going to start with the Scatter Blaster. As we all know, the Scatter Blaster is the most powerful weapon in the game. So we're going to put this in here. And I'm going to put the upgrades around into the more powerful slots. These upgrades are all exactly the same. I'll show them to you in just a moment. And look at that damage potential going up. Holy mackerel. To give you an idea of what this upgrade is, they're all exactly the same. Plus three damage, plus 20% fire rate. Eight clip size, and a plus one shots per burst. It'll be a really slow reload, though. But look at that damage potential. 47,490. Let's see what happens if I move this around. 45, 47, 490, 45. 
Okay, so the best spot for it is here. Or here, either way. So there is your best spot. So that. Wow. Well, I can say 47,000. I mean, let's let's check my OSOC with the same exact settings on it. Um, you know what? My OSOC does not have that in there. Let's... Oh, wait a second. Do you? I think you might. Nope, I put a mining beam in there. Go figure, right? Yeah, because that's really necessary right now. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to pull those slots out of here. I'm only 10 minutes into the video. Yeah, let's do that real fast. I'm going to pull them out of here real fast. So 47,000 again. 490. Real quick. This is not real quick at all, I know. But it's quick enough. Give me a break. And we'll see what happens when we put it into my OSOC. Come on. There we go. In order to do this, we gotta... Nope, that's not what I want to do. Just gotta move these out of the way. Okay. Shell greaser. The multi the scatter blaster itself in the middle. Upgrade. Upgrade. And last but not least, the upgrade. Forty five six forty five. Let's see what happens. Hold on. That's the most I can get out of it. 45, 645 is the most I can get out of this. So this is literally more powerful than my OSOC. So needless to say, I think that makes this an even better multi-tool than the one I had. So I'm going to be doing some experimenting. And that will be coming to the next video on this line in order to test this unit out. Because um, I'm really interested to see what it can do. And I think it's going to do some serious damage. So, looking forward to it. Probably what I'll be doing is I will move over my bolt caster to it here in that next video. And possibly move over all these wonderful upgrades I have for this. Just to see what kind of damage potential. I think this will get up to about 32,000 with the uh, with the bolt caster. And possibly in that same range with the pulse spitter. So, very nice. Very nice. So, I want to thank again our buddy... Um, Hua Wang for finding this very, very much. Very, very good multi-tool we've got here. This is going to be seriously OP and it's going to be a great addition to our game here. Take one more peek at it. It doesn't have it in there right now, but that's not bad at all. With the base damage. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're going to have some fun with this one. So watch for some upcoming videos where we do some battles with some Sentinels. And we're going to have a little bit of fun with this. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I hope you've enjoyed that multi-tool. Take care, folks. And we'll see you in the next episode.